a spooky Black Opal Direct series where we cut... <gasps> where we're going to cut this 28 carat knobby from Lightning Reach. I hope you enjoy the journey. Let's do it. Well, it may be Halloween, but I'm still going to give you what you want. Let's cut this gem. The first thing I'm doing is opening up the edges to see where the colour bar is and to see how clean it is. I really can't just take a top off without knowing whereabouts the colour bars could be clean. There is really a very good chance that this piece will not be clean because that colour bar is so thin and I can see lots of bits of potch around the edges into the colour bar which is not really great um, so let's hope that we get a clean stone but you know if we don't it could be a funky stone anyway. The excess potch is not really needed as thick as it is so I'm going to work on getting that down a little bit further closer to the colour bar and then I'll choose a side to face the opal on but it's looking like both sides could be turning into uh, black so it's going to be more about which side faces better than the other. At this point I've pretty much chosen which side I'm going to try and face. So I think it's around about that time to take its top off. The last little bit of potch is just sitting on top of the colour bar and now it's time to break through and see if we've got a clean colour bar. Please give us a clean colour bar. Ooh, look at that spooky web. Do you ever get the feeling like somebody's watching you? <laughs> At this point, it really fits in with the Halloween theme. I think I can see some, some web and like a cat and all sorts of... <laughs> funny shapes and things in there but what I really want is that nice beautiful green and blue pin fire behind it and whether that's gonna come clean I am highly doubting it from here on in uh, so it looks like it might have to be a pretty little picture stone with lots of spider web just like Halloween
I can only get so much web out before I start losing color, so I do have to be careful and I'm gonna have to leave some in. So this spooky gem now has some nice spider web in it, perfect for Halloween. And it weighs 4.28 carats, and it's because of the spider web it's worth around about the $800 mark. What do you think? Oh good, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. <laughs> I see your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a brown mark on my chair? G'day and welcome to a spooky dookie. <laughs> Can you do that in the background? <laughs>